Hello everybody and welcome in. I am a very excited thrall right now because I've been waiting for this game for quite a while. Um, hello Monkey Tamer and Stebby and Bruges, welcome in. This will be my first full playthrough of the game. I have previously played just the tutorial part of the game, but everything after the initial credits start on I haven't seen any of that so this is gonna be completely new completely awesome and I love pirates so I am so excited I'm like shaking I'm so excited although some of that is nerves from playing the first game first time on stream for this game that always happens but um, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to go into single player and we're going to start a brand new game because that's what we do when we start a new game. And we are going to get in, we're going to see the first cutscene and then go from there. Um, if it is too loud, please let me know. Um, I've tried to tweak it ahead of time and tried to get everything working so bar, barring any disasters this should all work not like you know Todd Howard but you know let's let's do this here we go Lightning is a little loud sounding. But maybe it's just me. Someone take the wheel. Go. Kenway, take the bloody wheel. We've a deal of their lead, but we'll all. Okay, fire with cannons, hold right mouse and move to aim, then click to shoot. Okay. Got the angle wrong. Ready to fire, sir. One down. Is it dangerous? Edward? Mm -hmm. Privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. 
For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Avoiding the fire. Yeah, 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 I know. Thank you, Pepe. Lovely weather we're having. Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred esculos. Why is the rum always gone? Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? Oops. Bloody fucking pirates! <laughs> I'm on to you, Sneaksby! Okay. Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. I don't know if there's anything around here yet. Probably not. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? Where's the sink point? Is this it right here? No. It's up higher. Okay. Excuse me, birdie. Okay. Could 
get back up there. Don't need to get back there. Posh git. Where's he running to? I hear treasure. It's below me. Look what I found. Didn't that guy offer me like a hundred? Hmm. Let's go this way. Oh. That doesn't seem quite fair. We've got some bone. There's another tre treasure chest over here. Okay, you have to be in front of it to pick it. Got it. Um, hmm. I don't know if there's a way to get down there. I know there's a way to get down there, but I don't really feel like coming back here if I don't have to. <coughs> if that makes sense. Oh. How the heck does one get- oh, I see that bit there. Um, I need to get one, <gasps> one, and first fragment, nice. Look, I figured it out. So, new point, field map, control, to fast travel. Oh, it's a Jaguar. Got some money. There's a letter. Eh, we can come back here. Find the assassin. I think I need to go this way for that. Yeah. We could work together on this. Maybe not. <sighs> That's another sink point. We'll climb up here and grab it. Sounds interesting. Gonna go get this treasure chest. Can I get up there? Not from here. Oh, it's right here. Well, open your eyes. Um. 
way did he go? I'm guessing this way. Keep your distance! Ow. That was rude. Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Well, look at that. I'm an assassin. Not into the hood, huh, buddy? What the heck was that? Who was shooting at whom? Um, there's a chest up there. A viewpoint I haven't seen. Where is and it's down below? That schooner will do me just fine. Restricted area. Where is oh, haha. Uh -huh. Here's a thought. Go up the tree, Trump. like I need to go back and get that treasure chest I missed. Let me look and see. There's that. Um, there's a treasure map. Okay, so there's lots of stuff back in there. I guess that means I have to go back in there? Yeah, let's just go get this treasure chest. Or not treasure chest, this... Thing. Fun! Okay. Let's go get this treasure. Good place for treasure. Restricted area. Yes, 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 I know. 
The Commodore's got to head to Kingston, where to commandeer this lover's ship and follow. So, sorry, uh, Kingston? No, no, our destination is Havana. I'm just a merchant. Quiet, you bleeding pirate. You'll hang for the mess you made out there. Sir, I had nothing to do with this attack. My crew and I have merely anchored to water and resupply. Hmm. Hold it! Stop that! Stalking zones. Allow me to hide and move undetected. Use them to approach targets stealthily. Give me one reason I shouldn't vent your skull. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! Oh, I'll pay you! Anything you like! Let's go over here. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, buddy. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! Well, this is a lot easier when you know how to play it. You saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. Mm -hmm. but, all things considered... I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Okay, there's a treasure map. Lacking a rowboat, here. I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Aye, that's the way. Treasure maps. Find treasure maps on explorers' cadavers. They will lead you to a specific place on an island. Dig there and you might find money or plans to upgrade your ship. Use that and 9 to select the maps and F to open them. Coordinates will lead you to the location and the image will help you find in the right spot. Okay, so I have to go... Back there. Well, have fun swimming, buddy. I am going to go find a treasure. Oh, oh, this, this is difficult. I should have taken the coat off. Yeah, you don't say. There's a treasure this way, too. It's up that tree. Hold on. There's your maps. Ah, there we go. Oh. Um, next to the bridge, it looks like. 
hold on. Okay, so bridge. I think I just found it. Or did I? Here somewhere. Did it just say dig? No. Oh, that's because I just went into the rock. Um. Who needs locks? Very nice. Oh, nothing else here. I just don't know if I go for that thing, if I'm going to be stuck leaving. Bruges? If I get on that ship, do I lose access to these, uh, treasures back here. Or when should I go after all the stuff? When should I go after all of the stuff that's here? Come on. Line. No. This thing. There you go. Okay. Map. There is a monkey ahead of us, apparently. Don't know where. up in the tree. Probably. Fragment way up there. Can't find that. Hmm. Let's go this way then.
Oops. That was helpful. Wait. How did I end up back down here again? This is what happens when you trip and fall. Okay, I'm still trying to get up to there. I'm gonna go this way. I can't get that far up. Okay. I'll be another way to get there. all the way back up again. Yes, the world is very pretty. Okay. Now, where to head next? I guess there. Which is that direction. Um, climb. You're not going to climb that. What about this? <coughs> says it's over there. I'm not sure how to get there from here. Can I go behind the waterfall? <coughs> I mean, the answer to that is yes. Get out of here. And go up. It's better, it could be below. on it. Yes, it is above. So I need to get up there, which is not the way I'm going. That's where I just was. Wait, here we go. Oh, hello. Got me a piggy. Um, okay, 
So that sea shanty is gonna be my first priority. I'm up. Fine. Go. Oh. Come on, get the sea shanty. Okay. Oh, hydrate. Good idea. What is that? Mayan Stella? I'm just gonna look around for some more stuff. Hey Limbo, how are you? Good to see you again. Why are they better than Connor? Because this guy's not actually an assassin. His name is Edward. And he's a pirate. Who killed an assassin. Found his orders. And is taking his place to try to collect his reward. And he is trying to get his fortune. So he can go back and have a good life with his girlfriend. Let's see, where are we, and what do I need to get? Let me see if I can get this chest. Figure out where it is. Oh, it's right up here. Of course I can get it. And I am busy ransacking this island. For stuff. I still want to get the sea shanty. I don't think you need two swords to kill a pig, but nice try though. Got it. Hey, Solomon. Let's see. I got the sea shanty. Now let's figure out where this is. Uh, over there.
What is this thing? I don't know what I do with this. That's not what I meant. Can I climb it? Interact. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. dig right there. Oh, that's fun. <coughs> Quit running around like a silly wild pig. What the heck is that? A Mayan stone. True. Okay, so now let's... We have a couple more things to get. Let's over by where we are. Or where we were. Let's go get this guy. I'm not worried about the piglet. No, no, no. Over here. Hmm. Can I climb up this? No. Next idea. There's a monkey. Well, now I have to get over there. I mean, this looks like the way to get over there. this way. Seems a likely place for a treasure. Now let's see the other side. Alright, next treasure. Get this one. Where is it? On oh, that way. Thank God for this stuff actually being on the map now. Here. 
treasure chest. Where is it? I think it's below me. It is indeed. Well, down we go. Search in a bottle. And the rum's always gone again. What I find. For several days, I'd stay with my captor, Balam, asking him all manner of questions, and he asking the same of me. And all the while, I wondered what fate he'd intended for me. At last, on the seventh day, I revealed what lay heavy on my heart. What do you want of me, sir, that you keep me prisoner so? And at this, Balam laughed and answered, You are no prisoner, Sage. You may take your leave at any point. Only tell us where you wish to be dropped, and if it be in our power, we'll transport you thence. This answer surprised, then angered me. Why then did you spirit me away in such a diabolical method, kidnapped no less? And he said in answer, Your master hosted a Templar. Now may be one himself. Such men are not to be trusted with a prize so valuable as you. Steer clear of them, for they seek the knowledge that hides in your mind, your dreams, your memories, and the location of a place once dear to you, the observator. Observatory? The word rang in my ears, for I had heard it before, another memory from a time long ago. And what do you desire me of me, sir? I'd asked him, would you steal the secrets buried within me too? Balam smiled. I would not shun them, but to share them is a point for you to decide. Your secrets are your own, and yours alone to lend. Interesting. Cool. Oh, shanties. So early. Oh, it's... Yeah, he was drunk, and he went below. I've got shanties. People. So this is who we are. Wait, no, that's not who we are. We're Edward Kenway. Edward Kenway was born in Swansea, Wales to Bernard Kenway and Lynette Hopkins of nearby Cardiff. By his 10th birthday, his father had moved the family to a small farm. Leading toward... Uh-huh. The relocation had a depressing effect on young Edward's mood. He grew restless from lack of contact with old friends and struggled to find an outlet for his limitless energy. By his teens, he was spending more and more time in the city away from his farm, and the lure of excitement overrode prudence. By age 16, he had substitute, substituted a career as a successful farmer for a life of hopeless tomfoolery, frequently shirking his responsibilities to his family in favor of rough company. Um, then he met Caroline at the age of 17, a woman of modest but steady means. Um, he and Caroline were married within a year, and resolved to do his wife well. Oh, so it's not his girlfriend, it's his wife. His grandiose dreams and exaggerated opinion of himself prevented him from taking immediate responsibility for their well-being. After only a year, he had stumbled back into his worst habits. So, she just, she's staying behind, and he went, goodness gracious, lots and lots of stuff. 